Growing frustration in Baltimore City right now. There is a surge in violence that is showing no sign of slowing down. After a bloody start to the new year, the number of homicides continues to go up. And WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. Rick Ritter takes a closer look at what can be done. Rick? Well, Mary, police are constantly dealing with violent repeat offenders, and some wonder is this the new norm? Police say it's not. Crime scene tape, evidence markers, and flashing lights. It's become the common theme in a city ravaged by gunfire. We're dealing with people, sadly enough, that are sometimes suspects today and victims tomorrow. January brought 32 homicides, the most in that month since 1973. And since 2015, Baltimore now has a chilling average of close to 28 homicides a month. While the numbers are certainly staggering, police attribute most of the recent violence to gang retaliation. Just weeks ago, a man was gunned down inside an East Baltimore barber shop while waiting to get a haircut. The month before that, a man opened fire on a group of people outside a Northwest Baltimore convenience store, killing two execution style. And in September, one weekend saw 19 people get shot. It's, I'm going to get this person who got my person, and, and it's back and forth and back and forth. Former gang member Dr. Ted Sutton. When you're dealing with a blood war, it's a lot personal, and it's a lot more dangerous. A blood war that has detectives dialing in on repeat offenders. A task that's far from easy, but has police refusing to settle. People who say this is the new norm, your message to them? This is not the new norm, and we're not going to accept it. And Mary, a very interesting stat. Police say of the 32 homicides in January, the average number of arrests per victim is 12, meaning those being killed are involved in drugs and violence at an early age. Back to you on TV Hill. Okay, Rick, thank you. And police say of the 318 homicides last year, the average number of arrests per victim was 11.